Hey guys. I uh, figured it's as good as time as I need to do a benchmark on the new drives. <sighs> Pretty settled into the new installation. Everything's been good. It's about a... I've had the drive in there for about two weeks now. Eh, maybe not two weeks. Yeah, it's around, around two weeks. Um, so the drives are in there, and now I'm, I'm running the, uh, the ATTO benchmark on the uh, Vertex 2. I just got finished running it on the new 640 Black Edition. Um, ATTO, there's settings transfer rate. Blah, 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 blah. You can read that for yourself. Um, using uh, overlapped I.O. because you get the, the most rewrites with that setting, which is the default anyway. Um, so we max out with this drive at 106. What's the max? Yeah, around 106, almost 107 megabytes per second read, 94, almost 95. Right. Now, <laughs> holy crap. Alright, so. We got the Vertex 2 just finished up. Oh, I didn't. There, there I go, clicking off, bumping into the mouse. All right, so we just finished the test at our highest read read speed is around 277, almost 278 read, 262, right. Wow. I mean, sure, it's about 10 megs or so under the the alleged speed because I have a shitload of programs open right now and also I haven't let, really, really let trim run because I haven't really logged off and the whole time the system's been running consistently for the past two weeks so I haven't even let trim run or let it run once overnight because uh, the trim initializes usually initializes when the log off command is initialized so the system has to be on but not locked cannot be locked, it has to be totally logged off for trim to uh, kick in, uh, whether it does it automatically or usually when Windows automatically sends the trim commands to uh, the drive's controller is when you're logged off. And you could see that trim is active while you're logged off because after about a minute or so after you log off you see the hard drive activity light on the system just goes wild. And it pretty much stays in solid, and you know it's not doing anything else. At least I know, because I make sure there's no processes running while I'm logged off, no antivirus, no nothing, just it goes crazy. And I know it's not the 640 paging anything, because of the page file on that drive, because I know it's not, because you can't hear it. You don't hear that drive doing much of anything, it's this drive going, doing something. I don't know what it's doing, but I'm pretty sure it was doing trim. But even battery's gonna die. So I uh, just wanted to give you uh, these little benchmarks right here. Um, and also, just to throw in the temps on the card right now, we're sitting idle right around 38, which I think that's, what is that? What is, I was hoping Everest, because I'm not good at converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's, that's be around, around 100, 102. And there goes Everest. Sir. There we go. As uh, pop open CPU Z, I think we're at 1.68 volts at 4 gigahertz. Yes, right there. One point, oh, it's at 1.6. Earlier it was 1.68. Okay, it's fluctuating slightly. 1.6 volts, 6.8, roughly 4 gigahertz. Uh, 20 multiplier, blah, blah, blah. This video is not supposed to be about this, but just to show you the idle temps, you know. I already showed you it kind of, oh, we're actually touching under 100 degrees. So uh, I'm really liking the cooler. And yeah, I'm just really liking it. Liking all the, the upgrade was definitely worthwhile. Um, I'm probably going to be, I'm, I'm so used to the SSD performance now, I'm probably going to be grabbing an SSD for my laptop. So uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you liked the video. Please remember to uh, comment. Uh, like and uh, thumbs up my videos and subscribe if you like what you see because uh, hopefully I'm going to be turning out some more videos and I enjoy uh, enjoy making videos for you guys so um, alright talk, talk to you later hey guys I just figured I'd show you what I did 
Um, <laughs> I uh, took two more anti tricool fans with uh, no LEDs that I had lying around, and I put them on the NHT 14. This one blowing that way, and this one is blowing straight up into the big 200 mil big boy. Drop my tents by another 10, 12 degrees ish on load. Still at 4 gigahertz, 1.36. 1.368 volts, yes. Um, just add this little clip in there. Oh, that'll be funny. <laughs>